Disclaimer. This video is not about hating drag queens, gay people, trans, or anyone. Adults are free to do their thing. If you're an adult and want to dress up as nightmarish, clown, demon women to perform for other adults, more power to you. In this case, the downright deceitful report comes to us from a CBS News reporter named Christy Kaleshian. Consider this your trigger warning. This is an all-out assault against our LGBTQ communities. <laughs> Councilmember Shaker Krishnan takes his kids to Drag Story Hour. Between his home and office, protesters have showed up 12 times to vandalize property since this past September. Oliver H. has been a storyteller with Drag Story Hour for the past two and a half years. Move, children. Vamanos. Three of his Drag Story Hours have been protested. To have people across the street calling me a groomer, calling me all of these awful, terrible things. Oh. One, vandalism? I mean, that's not okay, but they don't show any, so I'm guessing that's bullshit. Two, what does a grown male stripper who wants to perform for kids have to do with the LGBT community? As if all LGBT people are a hive mind and agree with this, which they aren't and don't. In fact, the reporter who called out this propagandist is gay himself. Lastly, he calls protesting of these events an assault, which fits right in with the Democrat state media rule number three. The only legitimate protest is one pushing their agenda. All others are treated like a physical threat to whatever's being protested. Make no mistake, this is part of an attempt to normalize the criminalization of opposition to the woke supremacist left. Three of his drag story hours have been protested. To have people across the street calling me a groomer, calling me all of these awful, terrible things. Oh no, they called you a groomer? I guess it's totally different when Oliver Face accuses an entire race of people of being being racist, which he thinks they should have to admit. I'd show you the actual tweet, but he made his tweets private, almost like he's trying to hide something. I'm sure there's no danger at all in demonizing an entire group of people as inhuman monsters based on their skin color by somebody who literally makes himself look like an inhuman monster before he performs in front of children. I mean, don't you just love how we're not supposed to notice that he makes himself look like that before he reads stories for children for some reason? I don't know if you caught this but did you notice what the reporter said his name is oliver h has been a storyteller with drag story hour for the past two and a half years oliver h but that's not the name this drag queen goes by when confronted about this by andy no christy kalashian responded quote andy the storyteller says he goes by oliver h or oliver the place when performing for drag story hour and oliver her face in adult settings what Oh yeah, all over the place, implying that he's ejaculating all over the place. That's way better than all over her face, which just screams someone who should dress up like a monster and read stories for children for some reason. Keep it together, keep it together, keep it together, keep it together, keep it together. To avoid detracting from the focus of the story, we decided to go with the name he first told me he goes by when reading for DSH. This is bullshit avoid distracting from the story lady your entire story is a councilman and an adult drag queen demonizing people for protesting their event so isn't this detail pretty important to the case of the people protesting of course it is which is exactly why she omitted it this is a common democrat state media tactic used to demonize anyone who notices the insane shit they're doing because they can't defend it in the first place this washington post article absurdly accused uses critics of sexualizing drag queens completely ignores all the cases of adult content at these events, which are so bad, I can't even show you. Instead, the media just pretends these examples don't exist and paint anybody opposing it as horrible people. People are not protesting these events because they care about adult drag queens. They're protesting because drag queens are for some reason reading stories to children and in some cases, straight up stripping and <laughs> Let's just say I can't and won't show you on this channel, but feel free to Google Drag Queen Storytime Dildo Monkey. Well, I got a thing, so if you enjoyed it, please hit that like button, share, subscribe, hit that bell notification, and make sure to leave a comment to vent those frustrations. Thanks a lot, and I'll see you on the next one.